Hi, Dr. Taylor here again, and we're going to talk about EMF and EMR and how they negatively affect health. So EMF and EMR are really interchangeable things. They're the same thing. EMF stands for electromagnetic fields, and EMR stands for electromagnetic radiation. So right away when you hear radiation, you think bad, right? Well, electromagnetic radiation is non-ionizing radiation. So there's ionizing radiation, which are things like x-rays or gamma rays, and non-ionizing radiation, which would be like the EMF and EMR. So when we're talking about EMF, EMR, the way you get these things is from electromagnetic sources uh, that give off small amounts of radiation. So things that we talk about when we talk about EMF are things like Wi-Fi. If you have some kind of a Wi-Fi device at your house or at work, you're getting EMF exposure. Or your cell phone gives off EMF signal. Or obviously a cell tower gives off a lot stronger EMF signal. Or you know, if you're at home, your TV, your laptop, um, iPad, all those things give off EMF. So what they found is short-term EMF is really not that detrimental in health, but over the long term is absolutely detrimental. So the problem lies in here is that where do you get away from these EMF exposures? If you're at work, there's probably Wi-Fi. You know, most people work at a computer nowadays, or you have your cell phone on you or around you almost at all times. You go home, maybe watch a little TV, get on the computer there, EMFs. Um, you're on your cell phone, EMFs. Or if you have Wi-Fi, you know, even when you're sleeping, you're getting EMFs. Or if your cell phone's really close to your head uh, while you're sleeping, you're getting EMF. So there's a big issue, especially with long-term exposure. Now what they found is long-term exposure to children is even worse than it is to adults. Um, so it's a big issue, you know, does your kid play with your cell phone? Does, do they play, have an iPad that they play on? Um, most people say yes to that. And that means that your children are getting more and more exposure to the CMS and it's gonna be over their whole lifetime. You know, when you and I were growing up, if you're around my age, um, there weren't these things available. There weren't these things around. Obviously, we had TVs, but there weren't cell phones. There wasn't Wi-Fi. Um, but now there is, and people are getting it from in utero even. You know, if the mom's on her cell phone, maybe even puts it on her belly um, long term. So if you even go through your cell phone, um, I don't know if it's under the security or the rights or whatever, it'll have a section about EMR warning you. You're actually, it'll say to use your cell phone safely, Keep it 20 centimeters or about 7.8 inches away from your body at all times when you're on it. Now, nobody goes around with their cell phone here, but that's to keep it within EPA standards of allowable EMF exposure to your body, you know, specifically your head if you have it up through here. So recently, they just did a study at the University of Washington. What they found was casual phone use can damage DNA in the brain, which results in short-term and long-term memory loss and slow learning. Those are all bad for adults, but it's obviously way worse for children, especially with the slow learning over time, you know, constant bombardment over a whole lifetime of a child. Um, they concluded as they thought the DNA damage was actually cumulative. It compounded on itself the longer that you're exposed and the more time that you're exposed. So there's a big problem with it. And that's why we check all our chronic patients for issues with EMF. So we can do that specifically at our office. We can test our patients to see if EMF is a big issue for them or if it's not an issue for them, then we don't have to do anything with it. You know, currently at our office, we have a fibromyalgia patient where EMFs are the biggest trigger for her. Once we get those um, basically taken care of, mitigated, so they're no longer issues for her, she can do great. I have no doubt about that. But they need to be checked, especially if somebody has a chronic issue. Now, whether that's fibromyalgia, whether that's chronic pain, whether that's thyroid, neuropathy, Parkinson's, MS, whatever it is, these things can all affect the system. They need to be checked. If you haven't been checked for them, I highly suggest you do, especially your children. Now, there are things that you can do to help mitigate these at home. There are devices that you can put on your cell phone. There are devices you can put on your computers. Um, there's things you can do to your house specifically. So say you've got one of these cell towers close to your home. You know, I think they say uh, it's about, you wanna be about three to four miles away from any kind of cell tower. So if you're any closer than that, you're gonna have high exposure, which is bad, even if you don't have necessary uh, symptoms to go along with it. So symptoms people usually see when they have EMF issues or EMF exposure, uh, the first phase is things like uh, you wake up groggy in the morning, brain fog, not motivated, you need stimulants to get yourself through the day. Uh, the second phase, which is obviously a little worse, are things like headaches, dizziness, chronic fatigue, chronic colds uh, from a compromised immune system, muscle aches and pains. So 
EMS and EMR have been heavily researched. Uh, there's a lot more newer research coming out, which is fantastic. Uh, if you like research, I would go to emfanalysis.com. They have a whole section on research where you go on there and see the most uh, recent articles about EMF and the negative uh, effects that it has on health. So like I say, these are things that have to be looked at. These are things that have to be taken into consideration, specifically with chronic diseases or chronic issues. And like say, if you have any kind of a, a child at home um, that's being exposed to things constantly, like say if they're playing on your cell phone, if they have an iPad, I mean, if they watch TV, they're getting EMF exposure. Like say, if it's cumulative over time, you know, who knows what's gonna happen to these kids when they grow up to be our age. These things need to be checked and that's why we do it here at our office because it's absolutely needed. So hopefully you got some education off that. We'll go over these probably in a couple more videos because it's such a broad, uh, topic. It's, it's nothing that we can cover in a short video. We try to cover it in uh, subsequent videos just to give you a handle on what's actually going on and what can be done yourself. My name is Dr. Taylor and I hope that helps.